Yes, this is, as I said, one of the most difficult problems of our times is how do we convince our parents, women and men, we both have issues with our parents, and our parents don't understand the pressures on us, that if we don't have halal, we're going to turn to haram. If we cannot find love and romance and sexuality in a halal manner, we will turn to haram. This is human nature. Um, two points. Firstly, I don't have a solution for this answer easily, but firstly, those of you who are young and in this situation, please remember how you feel now, 20, 30 years down the line, when you have your own kids. Please remember this. And I am optimistic that inshallah, you guys are second generation, most of you, right? The third generation, inshallah, will have a much less problem in this regard, right? I've already told my wife, I want my son to get married when he's 18 if he wants to, and I'll help him. I already told her, as soon as my son hits 18, if he wants to get married, I will pay for it, inshallah ta'ala. Because I remember how it feels to be an 18-year-old in this country, not this country, America. I remember how it feels. And I, know, I don't want my son to fall into haram and do haram. I will be a supportive father, as long as he's mature. Obviously, 18 doesn't necessarily mean you should get married. Mature. Finances, I will take care. But not every father is going to be like that. And if a father is not like that, well then, the brother should realize that is his responsibility. It's not his father's responsibility to pay for his wife. It is his responsibility. So an element of truth does exist. If the father says, who's going to take care of your wife? Unless the brother says, look, I'm working 30 hours a week along with my school. I, ha I can just afford an a, a apartment. It might not be very fancy, etc., etc. Then the father should be willing. And of course, when it comes to men, Islamically, they're not required to get their father's signature. In other words, men can act independently, even though I wouldn't advise that unless the brother thinks he's going to fall into haram. Right? Otherwise, please convince your mother and father that you want to get married. As for the sisters, it is a necessary condition that the wali approves. Right? And of course, this is an issue that I cannot overpass. I cannot tell you otherwise. Uh, if the wali is not approving, pressure should be put on him in a positive manner. From the mother, from the aunts, from the imam, from other people. And, and basically, he should be told, look, this is the right time, this is the right person. Apart from this, honestly, there's really no easy solution. And all you can do is use the weapon of the believer. What's the weapon of the believer? Dua, mashallah. Okay, alhamdulillah. With this, inshallah, jazakumullahu khairan.